Hi, Afnan here. My accompanying system is been running for quite some time now, the gutter bit. And most of the plant need replacement. So today what we're going to do is to remove most of the chili plants and only left a few. And what I need to do is to just cut them off and leave the pots temporarily inside the gutter bed. And while I'm doing that, I probably have to clean the gutter bed. Uh, and I will just demonstrate briefly how uh, gutter bed maintenance is done. And uh, the simplest way to do it is by using a fishnet. Okay, um, I'm trying to get fresh seedling and probably by next week, uh, next weekend, I will be able to get fresh seedling and then I will start to replant. Lately, the weather has been playing out because it's uh, starting to get a lot of rains. Therefore, we're going to experience nutrient wash because a lot of overflow of water uh, will cause uh, nutrient to run off into the drains. However, uh, in this situation, uh, I will start to replant because the young seedling will not require that much of a nutrient. So it will not be too burdening to the system to produce um, nutrient as much as when they are um, feeding the fully matured plant. The chili plant is a bit old, it's really old. And there are a few varieties of chili plant. This, this one is probably doesn't really last that long and only uh, do one season of chilies. So what I will do is just cut it off, the chili plants, and let the pots uh, dry off later on. And that's, that's the only thing that uh, I recommend to do. And obviously we will pick the chilies and use it and but they are too much for average household usage of chilies i would probably recommend about four plants uh, four chili plants is sufficient and then the rest of the grow bit you can try other plants the only reason that i have so many chilies here is because i'm trying out uh, to do a monocrop and find out how best is the yield going to be from one average size uh, grow bit for the home but it's not necessary to be this way we can practice by only four plants for chilies and the rest you can have other kind of plants once all the chili plant has been cut and you can just remove the pots and what i normally do i just put it aside and let it dry so that I can re, uh, separate the hydroton from the roots easily. Maybe let's just put this aside. I will leave this pot here a few days to dry, then I will recycle the hydroton. Because it's easier to separate the roots from the hydroton when the whole thing has been dried off properly. So before I clean this, I just need to flat the gutter bits. The easiest way is to actually remove the bell from just remove the bell from the stem pipe, and the siphon will fail and let, let it flat. Once it's flat, I can easily clean gutters by using fish nets. Normally, most of the sludge is concentrated towards the, more towards the inlet. Where you have the water feed, that's where most of the sludge will be concentrated. And this is where I will use the scoop to scoop out the sludge. As you can see here, there's a lot of uh, sludge in this area. But not really that bad uh, because it doesn't really block water passage or cause any water lock in the system. 
I don't really remove 100% of the sludge. What I just do is just to do some minor maintenance to make sure the sludge build up, not to to cause any problem to the aquaponic system. So far, the system has been running very well, and I hardly need to do any major maintenance apart from looking at water level and topping up water uh, occasionally. But lately, the rainy season is starting to coming over. We will experience a lot of rain. And in that situation, we do not need to top up water that much. There's a lot of slush built up at this particular area. There's a water inlet. There's a lot of slush built up at this particular area. So the easiest way to clean this gutter bed is just to get a fish net scoop and screw it up slowly and you can see there's a lot of sludge and you can just uh, put this in a compost heap or you can uh, dispose it in the sewerage because this is uh, not harmful because it's only a, f a fish sludge it's non-toxic anyway so it's quite safe to be disposed of uh, naturally Do a lot of scoops and basically you do not need to remove it 100% from the gutter as long as you can get most of it something like 70% or 80% of the sludge it's good enough because you only do this maybe once in two months a month depend on how you feed the fish If you find the water level is a bit too high, well, you can always uh, stop the water inlet at the point that you are comfortable working with. As you scoop up the slush, you can also have debris like leaf, uh, plants will be there. Right, that's it. That's how I clean the gutter bed and doing a minor maintenance and removing the plants. Uh, the chili plants, there's a lot of pots, roughly almost 20 pots, and I will need to uh, remove and replant. And I will replace with only a few chili plants, roughly around four chili plants. Then I will mix with other kind of plants. The only thing is that I need to get it from a nursery because uh, I do not have uh, time to sow uh, the plants that I need. Furthermore, if you are planting a, a few plants, let's say only four or five chili plants and uh, okra, a few okra, then sometimes it's not worth to sow yourself and might as well go and purchase it from the nursery because you only need about four or five plants. Unless you do it in large scale or the entire grow bit is uh, you are having the monocrop system where you, have, you put a lot of uh, the same kind of plants, let's like say uh, 40, 50 or 60 plants of the same uh, uh, type or variety, then it's worthwhile to sow uh, yourself because you need to have uh, a lot of uh, plant supply. Okay, uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.